You know our next guest from six seasons of Supergirl. Next month, she hangs up her cape for good. And in the meantime, she's written a book. It's called The Powers Haven Secret. It comes out October 26th. Please welcome Melissa Benoist. <laughs> Yeah. How long's it been since you've been in a room with like a with lot of people? people? Well, I yeah. guess I was at work, so. Oh, yeah. But but this nobody's is cheering really, right? No, that felt great. When you, <laughs> <laughs> when you say you were at work, were you at uh, shooting Supergirl? Yes. Are you still shooting that? No, no we finished a uh, couple uh, two months ago. Oh, you're done. A month and a half ago, done. Wow. Did you have the emotional goodbye and all that stuff? We did. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean. Six years, you, you spend more time with a lot of the crew than you do with your loved ones a lot of time. Right. Big family, and I'm going to miss some of those people so much. But you know what? I'm not, I'm not, I have to say, I don't know if I'll miss flying. You won't miss flying? <laughs> this might hurt my body so much. I was in... Flying seems very glamorous when we see it on the right. show or in the movie or something like that. But yeah, no, it's, you're That's not really painful. flying, first of all. So that takes a lot of the fun out of it. I mean, and then you're have they advanced flying like on camera over the last I don't 30 think years? So. I think someone told me I think it's been the same since Christopher Reeves did it. Really? So <laughs> yeah. you're you're just on wires just and hanging? Wires and like a harness that's doing like a this? diaper and yeah. Doing this. <laughs> Is that that's the way to do it, right? Yeah, you gotta, you yeah, do you it gotta better do it like than I that. do, I have to say. Yeah. Interesting. Wow. Yeah, you won't get to fly anymore. You won't want to fly anymore. I'm sure I'll miss it months from now. I say that now because I'm it's fresh, but I have a theory about flying, and it's a weird one, but go with me <laughs> okay. on this, okay? <laughs> okay. If we, you know, everybody says like I wish I could fly, you know. Right. And it, like birds can fly, obviously most birds can fly and they do it with the power of their wings. So, we're not <laughs> going to be just flying up like Supergirl who's just, you know, defying gravity. We'd have to power ourselves, right? Because, so my theory is if we could fly, we probably wouldn't. Right. You know what? I never thought of that. And it's that's like a really running. Good we point. don't do it that much. Like, right? You'd be like, oh, I'm not, you know what? I'm not, uh, forget it. I'm just going to. That's my theory of my fun. So, what happens when you're done with the show? Do you get to keep the costume? I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not at liberty to say. You but stole the costume. I do have to say, I can tell you this. Over the course of the six years of the show, there were all these little dinosaur figurines on the set, on the cat co set, mm -hmm. the office. And I would just like swipe them every here and there. So I have amassed a, a big collection of dinosaur figurines from the set of Supergirl. And you have the costume. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny? If, it would be unprecedented. And funny if they had you arrested for taking the costume. Because <laughs> really, it's not your costume, is it? It's not. No, yeah. It's but now not, it is. Which is why I. <laughs> Will you put it in a box or on a, uh, some kind of a, a mannequin or something? Or will it just go in, in your closet? What, in like my Bond villain lair? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how I would handle it if I was like, you know, a super person. I don't either. Yeah. I don't know how I would handle it either. I don't know if I would wear it on Halloween with my child. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to mention your book. You wrote a book with your sister. Yeah. Uh, whose idea was this? I mean, it's been, I have to say, my sister has been writing from as long as I can remember. She would fill those um, spiral notebooks that you would get for school every year. She would fill them cover to cover, always writing stories, always, always, always. And did she so, save those stories? I'm sure she, I don't know, actually. But this is not one of those This stories. is not one of those stories, but she's such a good writer. And when we had the idea for this, you know, we were really heavily influenced. Our grandparents would take us into nature in Colorado all the time. We went to all the national parks in the Four Corners area. And that wow, was so important to us. My grandma took me to bingo once. Yeah. <laughs> That's, I love bingo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we had fun, but. Uh... <laughs> So but, you, you guys would, you really got out there and did a lot of things. Yeah, and that really inspired the story. And, and it's, a, it's really centered around these twin sisters. And sisterhood is obviously very important to me because I have not just my sister, Jessica, who I 
wrote the book with, but we have a younger sister, and um, so that was really fun to kind of. Did explore. your younger sister feel left out of the book writing process? <laughs> spoken to her and I don't think so. I hope mm -hmm. not. Are you going to have to now do a project with her to make <laughs> up for it? I think now I do. Yeah, yeah. You guys should at least make a craft or something like that. <laughs> and the book is about girls who are what age? They're around 13. Around 13 years old. Okay. Yeah. Well, I think that's about how old you are in this photograph that oh, no. we have here. Now, is this a Halloween <laughs> party? It's <laughs> It's actually not Halloween. That was my 13th birthday. And the what? theme, yes. <laughs> the theme was movie musical costumes, movie musical character costumes, which is pretty niche for a 13 year old, I would say. Yeah. But my costume, I went as Donny Osmond from Joseph and the Amazing Technical Dream <laughs> That's so Donny Osmond. Yeah. My mom made that Technicolor dream coat for me, and I don't know if the rest of my friends got the assignment. <laughs> my friend Jillian there is Holly Go Lightly, which isn't even a musical if we're getting technical. It's funny, because my sister loved Donny Osmond when we were kids, and one of Donny's things was he loved purple. So it almost as if you're in the wrong outfits here. But, <laughs> um, but of course, that was like 1979 also. I think that you were, uh, I would think you're a little bit out of Donnie's demo, but I guess not. I, I think, you know, his reach is, it's vast. It is, and All it continues. All the way to the year 2000. It's now, it's now spread its tentacles to Las Vegas, and uh, <laughs> people are mesmerized by Donnie Osmond. <laughs> and I can't say that I blame them. Uh, did you have this on, like, CD or a DVD or what? Or did the you go photo? see it? No. The, oh, the, I had it on DVD. Oh, all right. I wow. Did. Yeah, you're a weird kid. Yeah, you, I was. Um, <laughs> I definitely was. You know, I know you know about this, but I want to remind you of it because when my daughter was little, my daughter Jane, we would watch, you know, I was like, yeah. oh, this is a show we can watch together. And um, anyway, she kind of liked the flying and the costume. So, but we, she dressed up as Supergirl for uh, Halloween. Look and, at that um, face. Yeah, and uh, <laughs> she's pretty cute. And how old is your son now? He's 14 months. 14 months, yeah. okay. So, and the, Jane dressed as Supergirl again the following year. She was really Did into she? this whole Supergirl thing. So I thought this would be nice, a uh, nice gift for your son, actually. And that's for you if you want to oh open that. I can open it for you, well, just for time-saving purposes. So there you go. What so this is, is for that? Halloween. And, you know, I figured since my daughter dresses you for Halloween, maybe your son <laughs> would want to, you know. I don't know if you have anything planned yet. and everything. Oh my gosh, this is brilliant. <laughs> and you know, if people get confused, you could tell him he's a rabbi or something. I don't know. What did they make this beard out of? That's out of my own armpit I hair. I figured. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a team came up and sheared me this afternoon, so it's all original. Don't worry about that. <laughs> Anyway, it's a little gift for the boy. I love it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I think he'll get probably get a ton of candy in that thing. <laughs> probably. <laughs> well, it's very good to see you. It's so good to see uh, you. The book is called The Powers, Haven's Secret. It comes out October 26th. Melissa Benoist, everybody. Supergirl. We'll be right back with music from Old Dominion. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel, and I am not allowed to eat this cookie until you click the subscribe button. So please click now. I'm hungry.